All right, so what's up? What's going on? Welcome to JA News. So we're kicking 2024 off the right way with a big Travis Scott leak. Now, Travis is already set to have a big 2024, but it looks like he just revealed another major upcoming release that fans should be very excited about. Plus, we got a little controversy surrounding the latest upcoming Action Bronson New Balance collaboration. And it's something going on with Adidas and Yeezy as a new interesting find has been discovered on the net that leaves the door wide open for Yeezy in 2024. Stay tuned. We got all that plus more and it's coming right up next. All right, so to kick things off, Travis Scott, one of, if not the hottest name in sneakers. He's currently on the road for his Circus Maximus tour. So last night during one of his Chicago shows, it looks like he gifted a fan a pair of unreleased sneakers, but also gave him a warning not to resell those joints. So let's go ahead and take a look at the clip. So great way to promote your upcoming sneaker release. Pretty cool moment right here from Travis and this lucky fan right here. So upon closer inspection of this sneaker, it looks like the blogs are calling these the Nike Sharkadon, which apparently they take some elements of some previous retro Nike models as far as the color scheme. I'm a fan of that like infrared, almost hot pink color that you see around the sock liner, which I feel like mixing that up with the earth tone uppers creates a cool color scheme, definitely giving like inspirations of like previous Nike Yeezy color scheme. So I gotta say, I like the colorway as far as the overall model. Not sure if I'm really sold on it yet, but it's definitely giving like Nike's 90s, like retro trainer vibes, which definitely closely resemble the upcoming Jumpman Jack. So we got these, you got the Jumpman Jack, as well as some confirmed colorways for the Jordan 1 Travis Scott Low. So it looks like Travis is poised to have a huge year for sneakers in 2024. And speaking of those Jordan 1 Lows, it looks like we also have a first look at the Jordan 1 Low yellow canary or canary yellow whatever you want to call it this is a woman's exclusive release and as far as these like first early looks go remember guys we can't really just judge a sneaker based off these poor quality images but i gotta say uh as far as the internet it seems like everybody hates these of course you know they're very different than what we're used to when it comes to travis scott releases so for me I gotta say I appreciate the fact that they're kind of taking these into a whole different direction and I'm sure based on the fact that it's an unconventional like Travis Scott colorway what we're not really used to I'm sure there's gonna be a you know cool story and elaborate rollout for this release so we got these joints you got all the other Travis releases the debut of the Jumpman Jack it looks like he's poised to definitely have a big year in sneakers in 2024 and moving right along to once again another one of sneakers biggest names action bronson who built up a lot of buzz here in the world of sneakers you know with some great 2023 new balance collaborations and with some great releases under his belt you know many sneakerheads are waiting to see what he's bringing to the table coming up in 2024 and it looks like he already gave us a little teaser of what to expect with a look at his upcoming 1906 r new balance collaboration but he only gave us a first look at the bottom which already from this look we see a bunch of unconventional colors that just kind of come together and mash up actually pretty well so a lot of mystery surrounding the drop people are waiting to see what the complete look of the shoe is because once again we only have the bottom here but of course in typical fashion you know the sneaker leakers hit us with a first look with a somewhat unflattering image which based off that first look it seems like the initial response from social media was that many people weren't feeling these now i'm not going to show that unflattering image on the screen because apparently new balance has been striking or taking down people that show that image so we won't be showcasing that today but it looks like action bronson he felt the need to clap back at the haters saying this is already the most polarizing sneaker of 2024 you just wait and you know anytime we use the word polarizing it usually means that a lot of people are hating he then went on to say my love for women's colorways has no end women aerobics meets me i've been collecting sneakers for 37 years if you're a true sneakerhead you know about copping 
the woman's joints, which I definitely feel him on that one. Even to this day, you know, dudes are lining up to cop women's exclusive Jordan releases. And definitely back in the day, copping the women's colorways were definitely a way to, you know, get something that was a little bit different. You know, most dudes didn't know about them. And typically the women's colorways were definitely cool. You know, you were getting a little more vibrant colors, sometimes some more light pastel colors, you know, just something different than the typical men's colorway. So I definitely feel him on that. As far as the sneaker, I'm not all the way sold on it just yet, but I definitely appreciate the color scheme and I'm sure there'll be a whole cool little story and rollout for this release. So it looks like Action Bronson is poised to have a big year in 2024, just along with Travis Scott. And I wonder what other rookie sneaker influencer or collaborator will emerge, you know, with a big year coming up here in 2024. And for today's Yeezy update, it looks like the Yeezy detectives have struck once again. And it looks like they have discovered a very interesting Google job listing. So I found this over on Reddit, credit to the good ass sub, as well as the Yeezy Reddit Discord. It looks like Adidas is currently searching for a brand manager communications for Yeezy, which I find that real odd due to the fact that didn't they end this partnership like what? over a year ago. So you have all of the qualifications listed, job 20 to $28 an hour. This was posted four days ago. So you have all of the information here. And then even more interesting on top of that, it looks like just a day ago, they've also added a job listing for a manager technical footwear Yeezy at Adidas Group in Los Angeles. So once again, for their Portland division, as well as their Los Angeles division. So you have all the qualifications, which the first line reads fluent in English, German, and advantage. So I find this very interesting once again, because is it the whole partnership supposed to be over with? But even more interesting, as we know, Adidas is still sitting on plenty of unreleased pairs. Of course, they worked out some type of deal to sell off all of the unsold inventory. And we know they're still sitting on a good amount of pairs. Um, there's more slides like those Salt, Dark Onyx. We got those uh, 350s, the Space as joints. You got the 500s with the gum bottoms, new foam runners, as well as these 500 high tacticals, those sand joints, which go crazy. So that's the pairs I believe that we know of. I'm sure there's more that I can't think of right now, but they're sitting on a decent amount. They've been pretty quiet, you know, about the whole Yeezy situation after they first announced that they would be postponing the remaining releases for the re remainder of 2023. So there's a lot of questions surrounding Adidas Yeezy releases coming up here in 2024, but in my opinion, it would only make perfect sense, you know, to release the remaining pairs. Sneakerheads are looking to cop these. There's a lot of buzz surrounding Ye's name right now. Of course, you know, he just apologized for the actions that, that got him dropped from the deal. He's dropping a new album. He also just released the uh, pre-orders for the first independent Yeezy. So there's a lot of buzz surrounding the Yeezy name, and I'm sure Adidas would definitely love to cash in on that. So. I feel like them posting these job listings is very interesting. Maybe they're looking to like rebrand Yeezy or something like that, or maybe this is simply just like a strategy, you know, for the uh, remaining Yeezy drops that we could expect here in 2024. But uh, apparently for Adidas, They've been very quiet on the whole subject. As I mentioned, the last thing that we heard from them was uh, end of last year. And apparently though, they will be uh, having their next press conference sometime in March as they report their 2023 fiscal year results. That's where we get the numbers for the entire year, as well as the fourth quarter numbers, which I can't wait to see how good fear of God, how much of a success that drop was. But anyways, getting back on subject, if we don't hear any announcement from Adidas before then, it looks like we got a long wait uh, with two months away about until the month of March. So we got Adidas posting job listings for Yeezy and it looks like 2024 could be a really big year for Yeezy fans. I mean, not only are we getting a new album from Ye, but it could be a year where we actually get Adidas Yeezy releases alongside mainline Yeezy releases. So that would be absolutely crazy. Kind of think of it like Fear, to, Fear of God, where you have the Essentials division, which is a little more affordable, and then you have the mainline. So kind of think of it as mainline Yeezy being the more designer high-end prices, where the Adidas collaboration would be like the more affordable, kind of like what we compare to Essentials. So I feel like that would be getting best of both worlds, and I feel like that would be the ultimate 
ultimate W for Yeezy fans as well as sneakerheads here in 2024. Because as we know, you know, these mainline releases like the pods as well as the new slides, you know, may be not grabbing the general sneaker audience like that. Of course, people love the Adidas Yeezy drop. So I feel like it would make perfect sense. On top of that, you know, Adidas has already said that they had to continue to fulfill factory orders. So on top of the pairs that we already know they've been sitting on, there could be a lot of more interesting, you know, unreleased Yeezy pairs in the tuck. So I can't wait to see, you know, what the future holds. And can y'all imagine if we get both releases? That would be absolutely crazy. And think about it before when Ye was dropping like his Yeezy season boots and stuff like that alongside Adidas releases. I feel like that was a great time for Yeezy and I would just love to take it back to that time. So I'm excited about mainline releases. You know, I'm supporting Ye with his independent endeavors, but at the same time, I definitely appreciate the Adidas Yeezy drops. You know, they're a lot more affordable being as that you have the massive Adidas corporate infrastructure to be able to provide these releases, you know, at affordable prices to consumers. So people would love to get more foams, you know, slides, all of those popular Yeezy releases, especially like new 700 V1s. There's so many models that people love and appreciate when it comes to the Adidas Yeezy brand. So it would just be a shame if we never saw any more of those releases go down. So as I mentioned, uh, Adidas does have their next official press release going down in March. So hopefully, you know, we'll hear something before that. But if not, you know, we got to log two months to wait. So that's today's Yeezy update for the day. I'm sure we'll get more information, you know, and updates within the next couple of days. So if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed today's video, help me out by dropping a thumbs up. So we're going to wrap things up right here. Salute. I'm J.A. Make sure y'all stay safe, stay blessed, and I'm out, y'all. Love.